myself, Professor Pawar Vike from Department of Geography, JET Art Science and Commerce College for Women, Malegao. On behalf of this video presentation, I welcome you all. Today's topic of my video presentation is Dear students, now in today's video, we will see the work of the sea. Now, unlike river, wind, glaciers, the work of sea is limited only in the coastal tracts of the earth. The water of the sea exhibits three kinds of movements like sea waves, tides and currents. However, the waves are main agents of denudation. The work of the sea waves is also threefold that is number one erosion, number two transportation and number third deposition. Now we will see the breaking of waves or swash or backwash. Now <coughs> the waves when arrive towards the coast or shoreline they travel along shallow surface below. Due to this change of distance between sea floor and the travel of the wave, the crest of the wave steepens, becomes sharply curled and then breaks at the climax. This phenomena is known as breaking of the wave. Breaking wave always brings blasting effect upon the respective area and the zone <coughs> where normally the waves break is called as breakers zone. When the mass of water after the breaking of wave flows towards the beach, it is known as swash or forewash. Swash is also known as sand. Thus, forewash or swash is the advance of sea water up a beach after the breaking of a wave. When the water flows back along the beach slope, it is known as the backwash. It is the receding movement of sea water down a beach after the breaking of a sea wave. Coupled with these, the effect of high tide advance and low tide recession play important role in the modification of coast line. Erosion, transportation and deposition are the most important elements to modify any coastline. The upper limit of direct sea erosion is the point reached by the mark of highest tide. However, actual work may extend beyond these limit when the caved portions lose the stability of top surfaces and they collapse swept away by erosion while the lower limit of sea action lies somewhere below low tide mark due mainly to the effect of some deep water movements of the waves currents and tides wave action is strongest action with respect to coastline modification. Strength of the waves depends upon the power of wind also. The wind power becomes responsible to strengthen the wave attack. Powerful wind drives the waves strongly, bring more water from the sea towards the shoreline. Aspect of the coast must be considered the coast open to direct sea attack gets affected severely than the coast protected by structural pattern. Stormy waves, especially during rainy season, are capable of severe attack on the coastal structure or marine relief. Stormy waves are high, faster, follow rapid succession and are usually destructive when such stormy waves plunge nearly in vertical manner. The backwash becomes more stronger than the swash. 
एज अ रिजल्ट मोर बीच मटीरियल इज मूड डाउन स्लोप दैन अप स्लोप फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्रेट स्टॉम इन एटीन फिफ्टी टू एट चेसाइल बीच रिमूव फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टन्स ऑफ शिंगल ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी देर आर सर्टन कंस्ट्रक्टिव वेवस ऑल्सो कंस्ट्रक्टिव वेवस आर लॉन्गर इन लेंथ दैन देर हाइट देर क्रेस्ट और टॉप्स डू नॉट प्लंज एज वर्टिकल एज द प्लंजिंग ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्टिव वेवस हिंस मोस्ट ऑफ देर वेव एनर्जी is spent in horizontal traveling up the beach secondly before the returning of backwash another swash interrupts them as a result the waves drive the material up the beach and beaches are produced on large scale when the coastline is straight and the shore is gently sloping the part of advancing wave or swash nearest to the coastline is subject to more friction with the bed of the shelf as its base and hence there is tendency of waves to be converted into backwash quickly than the deep shore floor the wave away from the shoreline experiences less friction and bears free movement shoreward until its energy is washed at the cost of gently sloping shelf this causes the bending of the wave finally it approaches almost parallel to the shore known as wave refraction